Okay, so let's taste, uh, let's test these beauties out. No sharpening needed. They're already not perfect, but they're sharp enough. This one's a lot different than what I'm used to because, well, it's all metal, so it's heavy, but it's probably also sturdy. The handle won't break. <laughs> well, let's try them out. Okay, so uh, that split my wood. <laughs> well, it digs in pretty deep. <laughs> Once you know the weight, it's a good one to aim too. Now, Tomahawk. Frontiers, Tomahawk. There you go. Now, I really enjoy the cold steel axes because they're not too heavy. They're sturdy. Well, once in a while you have to replace the, the handle, but if it's just that, then eh, I don't see a problem. Hi guys, Captain Glenwell here and welcome to another video. Um, I've already opened the box, uh, I've already uh, thrown them and now I'm going to tell you what I think of them. Uh, I'm going to do two axes in one video. Why? Because they're so totally different. We have the S-Twing uh, Black Eagle double bit throwing axe. And we have the uh, cold steel, uh, the cold steel Frontier Hawk. I ordered these two axes from uh, Knives and Tools. That's a website I can. Um, well, that's a dangerous website for me because I could uh, I, I, I could order any axe uh, every, every five minutes. I could order a new axe. Um, but hey, that's not the only site that's dangerous for me, so yeah. But then, S-Twing. Uh, this is the S-Twing Black Eagle Double Bladed, uh, yeah, Double Bit Axe, Drawing Axe. Full metal with um, rubber handle. 
Warning, wear safety goggles. Yeah, so I didn't do that. Um, uh, it's a nice axe, it's heavy. It's heavy because, yeah, all metal, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> in case of throwing it, it's, well, it's a heavy axe and you have to take that in mind. But it throws pretty well and you can aim it pretty well because of the weight, I guess. Um, it's not... So yeah, it's it's uh, in case of throwing, it's a, it's a pretty decent axe. Um, I like the look of it. It's well, it's not that beautifully finished. Uh, you can see the the how do you call it? It's not that even or flat or clean made. Even the handle, it's it's just molten around and and you have some residue. Here on, on the edges and but still it's a decent axe uh, and I hope it'll it'll last long because of it being all metal it's sharp well it's throwable sharp it's not that you can cut your fingers I think <laughs> uh, but you could cut uh, your sandwiches with it <laughs> the edge also it, it has some um, how do you call it bend over metal no um, it's not that perfectly clean but it's throwable and it's a beautiful axe now next to this one next to the S wing I also have the Frontier Hawk from Cold Steel now I love Cold Steel <clears throat> I really like throwing with a cold steel. Um, my first real axe was a cold steel, um, cold steel Viking axe, Viking throwing axe. Uh, so with the, the the blade going a little bit further and back, and I still use it. I still uh, I should replace the handle because, well, it could slide off. <laughs> um, <clears throat> And that's the only thing I, uh, that bothers me with cold steel, is that, well, look, it's fixed and it won't fall off, that's for sure, but it's only fixed with just this little one screw, of course it's just a tomahawk, uh, you don't cut any big trees with it, you just use it to throw, well, you could chop some wood, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, also sharp, well, semi-sharp. Um, back to the handle, <laughs> that was a drifting away. And <clears throat> you see this, like it's, it's the wood is, is, is already, um, oh, well, I don't know how you say it in English, but it's, it's a little bit rough, but that's normal because the uh, the handle is made that the blade couldn't fall off even if the screw got, lo got loose. Uh, what could happen if the screw got loose is that the blade would fall down onto your hands. But then you, um, need, to, then you need to check your axes a little bit more before you throw them or use them. <clears throat> Now, as to throwing, they are way lighter than the S-Twing because they're not full metal. Wood handle, metal um, blade. Um, the handle is long. Now, as to throwing, it might be better if I shorten it. Then again, you can't throw with a long handle. You just have to know how to throw it. Um, just have to know where to where to grab it and how to let it slide out of your hand without the length of the of the handle being a a problem but yeah cold steel I, I love cold steel uh, as a uh, throwing axe also easy to to replace because a handle is like here in Belgium between uh, 12 and uh, 16 euros so if this one breaks, you just buy a new handle, uh, unscrew 
this little screw here, pull it out, put another one in, screw it back in. So yeah, they're they're easy. They look pretty decent, pretty good. You can always customize the handle by burning it or painting it or I don't know. Um, <clears throat> Yeah. As to throwing, very good throwing uh, axes, tomahawks. And they have so many different varieties that just change the head and it's, it's a total different axe. Now from S-Wing I also know they have a lot more beautiful axes than this one. Uh, with way more beautiful handles, also full metal. and. I'm definitely not going to stop with this one and, and I'm surely going to try out the other ones. But I'll first have to make some money to, to pay them all. <laughs> so I guess that's it. Uh, the Estwing Black Eagle uh, double bit throwing axe and the Frontier, the Cold Steel Frontier Hawk. Um, yeah. Both great axes, both totally different. So that was it for this uh, video, uh, be sure to throw that axe at the like button if you liked the video and subscribe on uh, my channel if you uh, like my videos and want to see more because I see that a lot, a lot of viewers, a lot of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. Why? So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.